Ooh, had some rats in there. I don't know how long it. Hey, oh. Got chunks of stuff in it, Wiley. Watch out. Take the battery cable off. All right. Can y'all see down in there? Look at that. Good Lord. Ooh, that thing ain't been there a day or two, ain't it? Good Lord. All right, let's see if we can't get this. I'm going to try to get it uh, with a weed eater, and if I can't, I got the little portable chainsaw, and we'll get it. I like how people always say, like, oh, you should have brought this, this type of blade and this type of weed eater and blah, blah. You bring what you got, you know? That string ain't gonna last long. Let me get the chainsaw. This stuff. Just a little, just a little uh, thorny. I don't even know what kind it is. Let's see. Let's see what kind it is. Luckily, all the bad parts on the way over here. Maybe a Komatsu? Oh, I see something already I don't like. That exhaust is wide slap open. Doggone it. Let's see what kind of... Hmm. I really don't know what kind. I think that paint job looks like a Komatsu. Been sitting here a while. Oh, Wiley can stay working on that excavator. I'm going fishing. I'm fishing on my own property, but I can fish anywhere in the world by downloading Fishing Clash, the fishing game for your mobile phone. You can go to places like the Amazon. You can go to places like Cape Town. You can fish anywhere you want to fish around the world using Fishing Clash. Oh, hook. Oh, look at that. I got one. I reel it in. <laughs> Come on, baby. All right. I caught a red snapper. When you're playing fishing class, you can always upgrade your rod, or you can use the same rod in different locations, and you catch different fish, different locations, and use the same rod, whatever you want to do. You can compete with other anglers. They have weekly tournaments, and you can even start your own clan with family and friends. So go now and download Fishing Clash. Use the QR code that's on the screen here, or you can go to the link in the description. Use code Hamiltonville Farm. With my gift code, you'll get a unique avatar, one mythical lure card, and 50 luck power ups and 30 weight power ups to help you catch bigger fish. Now, they're having a special St. Patrick's Day event, so make sure that you go download it today and use code Hamiltonville Farm. Get fishing. I mean, you can't even tell. You can't even tell nothing on the boom, like if it had a sticker on the boom. Oh, crowbar, some jumper cables. I don't see any wash nest though, so that's good. Um, Komatsu. Indeed, a Komatsu. So we got a little bit of. Those seem to be free. That seems to be not connected. Hmm, that seems maybe, maybe not. That's a good sign, I guess. That linkage is okay. 
All right, these are not. These are just for your feet, so they don't do nothing. So that was. Okay. So indeed, it's a Komatsu. I have no idea what model. All right, let's work our way around. Let's go around the back where it's a little easier to get to. I'll bring this with me. So I'll tell you the story behind this here in a sec. Two, a PC220. Oh, here's a, here's a data plate right here. PC220 LC-3, serial number 20406. So let's see if we can find out what year that is. Can you do a Komatsu serial number lookup? Let's see. I don't see it. It just tells you about like what, what the model numbers mean, what the numbers mean and all that. The excavators are pages 7 through 11. All right, let's see. PC 220. And it's LC. I think LC means long carriage. Serial number. Oh, this is the engine serial number. We'll have to look and see if we can find the engine serial number. So it should be 62361 or up. It says a 2001 model? I don't believe that. Maybe I ain't reading it right. Whoo, had some rats in there. Look at all that, all that rat turd. Uh, here's the cables for some... There's some brazen work done on the hoses. All right, still pretty. Hmm. I'll tell you that exhaust, that exhaust sticking straight up is really what's concerning me. That's free. I guess we'll climb up here and see, huh? Ugh. I'll tell you, one of these days I'm gonna get younger. Uh, the pump, pump hoses look okay over here. All right, let's be careful with this. It's a six cylinder. Maybe an Isuzu. It's got a 710 cap on it. You know you're doing good when you get a, a 710 cap. <laughs> That's funny. Uh. Uh-oh. All right, so let's see if I can find a data plate that's got a serial number on it somewhere. Some stamped numbers. No, I have to go look on that side. All right, let's get this, uh, let's get ready to check all the vitals and stuff. I heard Wiley's door, but I don't hear Wiley. What are you doing? I heard Gilbert talking and filming. I was just waiting. Well, what are you do? <laughs> you like a blister. You want to show up when the work's done? <laughs> Come on. I looked on the serial number thing. It, it appears that it might be a 2000 and up, but I don't think this is a 2000 model. Do you think this looks like a 2000 model? Uh, I don't know. What's the engine say? I haven't seen that yet. What kind of engine is it? A big one? Yes, yeah, a six cylinder. I think they're a Zuzu's. How about text me a picture of it so I don't have to climb in there? <laughs> okay, I will. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna check the oil while you're figuring out your joints. Okay, I'm here for more support. So a good sign. This thing's making oil. It is. But a, it's got something in it. See those? It's got chunks of stuff in it, Wiley. Is it? But it might just be where it fell down. And I don't know this. I don't know if this is the real dipstick or not. I mean, a real. It's a real dipstick. I don't know if it's the original dipstick but the good thing is it's not over the full mark yes you know yeah yes so let, let me ask you guys a question why am i excited that it's not over the full mark if you've seen the last couple of ex excavator videos you've seen us pull out dipsticks and that be two inches over the full mark and that means something 
and it's not good but this has not got that problem so hopefully we don't have that problem but this exhaust being open makes me scared but i i actually stuck my uh a stick down in there and there's no water like pulled in the bottom of that you know what i mean yeah so maybe it's got a weep hole in it or something i don't know that, that wouldn't make sense for a it's going to take me just a minute to catch up. I was been on the phone. Did you know I started a new business? You did? You know, I see a lot of dogs Yeah. that's got bob dog tails. Yeah. And I was going to start me a, a hair extension. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. retail. It's a, <laughs> it's a retail business. <laughs> and we're already starting, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> All right. Let me see if I can turn this fan. See if it ain't. See if she's locked up. Oh, you want to pull me up? Yeah. I thought you were coming down. <laughs> Wiley's over here going. Okay, it's not locked up, Wiley. Well, that's good. It did turn a quarter turn. So, there's that. So, Wiley, the serial number is 62 or 67800 six, maybe. But anyway, it's above a 2000 model on the engine serial number, right. according to that website. So maybe it is. Earl, um, it's not, it, the fan did move. While you're there, you want to check the... Um... It's even got water in it, Wally. It's got all kind of, what's it mean when it's got stuff in the, like uh, deposits and stuff in the water? What's that mean? What kind of deposits you talking about? Not money deposits. There's several deposits. Yeah, it's like a, um, it's like a, uh, it's like a white flaky, a white flaky uh, deposit. But it's not a lot by any stretch of the imagination, but it does have some in it. All right. There's a, I guess there's a oil level in the gearbox there. Here? Yeah. Uh, is that Actually, a, oh, is that, or is that a hook? Yeah, I think it's just a hook. Right. Unless, yeah. Th yeah, it looks like it comes out, but I think it's just a hook to lift it with. Okay, not a good sign. The fuel filler is missing. Right, oh, right here? Mm-hmm. I brought diesel. Yeah, that's not a good sign. Let me get on this side here. What is this filter? Fuel. So it's got three fuel filters? Yeah. Oh, that's... Is that a fuel filter? Oh, that's, what is that? Where's the line coming to? Oh, it's, it's whatever it is, there's some metal tube coming. Yeah, gotcha. That's oil filter. Yeah. So we're missing a fuel filter. These valves must control the flow of fuel. That's water filter. Right? A water separator? Yeah. All right. So this... Is that good to, yeah, so this line goes to the injection pump. So this is where we'll feed the fuel right here. Oh, yeah, it's got a primer pump too. Well, this yes. is this yes. is where we'll feed the. Yes. Oh, this is the primer, but we don't need that. Uh, well, we will. Will we? Well, if you stick that hose in a bucket, you can prime it on in. You can see if it works. Oh, but it, so from this, it just goes directly to that. Yeah, but if this has got to go in the fuel bucket, and then you'll prime it. That's sucking whatever that is. Okay. Let's see. Which one's in and out? Where's so it? this is the end. This is the end line here. All right. Well, that's the one you stick in a bucket. And then prime it. Well, no, because then it will come. No, that must be the return. I don't. It's not going to return through the same. Filter. Filter. Because see it. Look here on this right here. This is going somewhere else. No, I guess it's this banjo bolt right here. That's my impression. Yeah, it's got that drive shaft that drives the pump off the engine. Mm -hmm. Yep. See the line here? That's going. To, that's coming out the tank right there. Oh, this line. Then it pumps to there. Then it it probably splits the fuel to do whatever they do. Okay. So do we need to? But I bet we could still put it, this one on it. You know, I bet we could still put this one. All right, it's coming out of there. 
to the filter, then to the injector pump. So this, you see, once it mm -hmm. pumps it to here, filters it, then puts it to the pump. Gotcha. It don't split it. Okay. So how do you, then, so do you just come into this one? Uh, yeah, I guess you would if you're just going to free fall it. Uh, yeah, that's so perfect too because you can put your electric pump there. Okay. And go right to the injector pump. Then you got you won't have to worry about that. Okay. And it'll, it'll re, it's still returned to the tank everywhere the return is, and it's going to be right here. There yeah, it that's right. Time. Okay. Cool. Well, let me get um, let me get some wrenches and some and that fuel and stuff, and we'll get started. Before we do that, let me tell y'all a little backstory on the uh, machine. So the machine and the property owner are two different people. Or the owner of the machine and the... <laughs> that may lost sense. That's the person I'm standing and That's right, yeah. So the person that owns the machine and the person that owns the property are two different people. So we find, it took us a couple of days to find out who owned the property. So I called him up and I said, hey, this is, you know, we make videos. Can we come film this uh, machine? And he's like, well, it's not my machine. It belongs to a man that died in 2020, I think he said. So two years ago, three years ago. He assumes he left it to his daughter, the, the, the guy, that, the, the original owner, his daughter. So I said, okay, well, can I have permission to come on your property and film it? if I get permission from uh, the, the owner of the equipment. He goes, yeah. So I had to dig around. The person that owns it, owns a business in two, three, four towns over. I, fa I found that out. I called her, it's a, it's a female, he left it to his daughter. Called her, she was not there, but the manager of that business said he'd get in touch with her. So the manager of the business calls me back and says, yeah, she says you can, you can crank it. All right, I said, cool, appreciate it. So we've got permission from the, the lady and the uh, landowner to come out here, but he said that they were trying to, they were, I think he said they were starting a pond or something maybe, I can't, I can't remember. Yeah, they were digging this pond out behind us. Um, <laughs> if it had been a snake, it would have bit me, wouldn't it? So they, they were digging this pond out behind us, and when he came out of the pond, he thinks he blew a hose and then he just never came back to it. Now keep in mind the guy that was doing this was probably in his 70s or 80s and so that's probably why he left it sitting here and it's been sitting here ever since and the guy said that um, they've had people come out to try to crank it. So if me and you crank it, we somebody. We are somebody. <laughs> come on driver. That's huh? why the filter is... Uh, yeah, that's why the filter is missing. Yeah. So anyway when you when you send you know don't send boys out to do men's jobs you know what i'm saying that's that's basically what i'm getting at wiley so i'm gonna those words are going to come back to eat me here and just a yeah. or haunt you one <laughs> haunt me one yeah <laughs> all right all right let's go grab some some tools and stuff see what's up you don't want me to stand up here and i'll hand them to you yeah, yeah it ain't that far away i'll get them for you thank you so i know you're like 80. you're younger than i am yeah <laughs> <laughs> here's about this has saved me about four inches of impact. That's right. Let me start to... Always three points of contact. That's right. i tell you something that is good. What's that? As those cylinders was in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And yeah. So saved them from, like, pitting almost. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. It's not a bad machine, really. Bad-looking machine. Well, yeah, that the carry Maybe 30%. All right, we'll take uh, our wrenches. Take that. We'll come back and get the batteries once we get all that stuff done. We're going to try to put that... Um, we'll take the fuel and the fuel pump. And I'll, we'll need a battery for that. We got a sticker. My P.O. box is in the video description. Look at him getting the batteries. That might need some ether. Probably gonna need some cobbling stuff. I 
I bought a new pair of vice grips. So that will go in the I got a jump box, Wiley. Let's, let's make sure we bring it out here. I will. I imagine we're gonna be spinning this thing. Can y'all believe it? I got a JNC 770. Ugh. There you go. Y'all been on me. You need to get a jump box. Well, we did. How did I end up with only carrying one thing? You could have brought the fuel with you. Oh, here, hold it. You take that. Mm -hmm. I'll get I'll get the fuel. I believe the fuel's lighter than this. <laughs> All right. We're getting close. That probably will stay close to here. Uh, um, uh, <laughs> I, but I will need a battery for the uh, um, fuel pump. So I'll go get that. Let me get right here and let's see what you got. Or just get you a wire. Don't you don't have, don't you have that wire? A long wire? That's nice. That's Mr. George. <laughs> Mr. George. The new guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. All right. That wire, that white wire didn't do nothing. It didn't. It was here just for us. What you looking for? While me and my wife got in an argument last night, I don't want to air my dirty laundry on the YouTube channel, but she was like, you know, I wish you would treat me like how you used to treat me when we first started dating. So I took her out to dinner, and when we were done, I dropped her off at her mom and dad's house. Wiley, they don't get no better. All right, what you gonna do with this thing? Get right here and let's check the fuel in this. Let's boot it. Quite still. Got a Hamiltonville farm fuel checker. It's got some in it. Got a lot in it. Uh -huh. It's got a lot in it, and it's the cherry flavor. Cherry flavored, okay. which is a good sign. All right. We're gonna get this thing fired up, Wiley. I believe it. I can feel it. Can you uh, can you see if you can hit that pump? Oh yeah. You mean prime it to get it to the you fuel? Just see if you can get it to the fuel filter. Yeah, I got you. And Hank, a baby, do you think we could probably hook the jumper cables to that power line and <laughs> we wouldn't have to tote these batteries? Yeah. We'd had an inverter. All right, let's see if this pump works. There's fuel in it. Let's see if it comes out here. It's just going. Maybe, I, maybe the pump's not. It's just coming out the top of the pump. Okay. All right. I hope that shows up. 
which means that primer pump is bad. Yep. I was reading the dictionary the other day, oddly enough. I found the worst page in the entire dictionary. I mean, it was disgusting, dishonest, disingenuous. <laughs> <laughs> that one, you had to catch you up to that one. <laughs> oh my God. Please don't unsubscribe. <laughs> it wasn't bad. It just... Oh. Uh, before or after the metal? I was waiting for more. Huh? This one? That one. I had a 50-50 chance. So you're saying there's a chance. Check out the... Have you ever seen uh, hose clamps like that before? That's pretty cool. It's like they keep it from sliding down. It's got a tab on it. You know? I don't think I have. That's pretty neat, ain't it? Almost factory, ain't it? It looks like it. Anyway, I'll take this hose off and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. I'm gonna tell you something. They put that starter <laughs> in a booger place. Yeah, yeah I hear you. Mm -mm. Come on now. Work with me here. Chain, don't let me. There you go. Been on there a while, ain't it? Yeah, it is. Didn't take it off here. Yeah, that's a pretty knife and cut that thing. Cut towards your body, not your buddy. Did give it enough? Yeah. yeah, this is the hose clamps I was telling you about. Got a little tab on there. Keeps it from sliding. Keeps it from sliding down the, uh, the, the hose. Interesting. Alright, I've got this one. Hope it fits. Maybe it will, huh? It'll fit good enough. Let me take this hose clamp off. I believe it's gonna go in there enough, you know? I say that. I mean, the golly, that's... Yeah. Had it tighter than my back in the mornings. It rained really hard. Yeah, sure did, didn't it? Sure did. All right, so now we got fuel to the injector pump. Or we will have, now, I brought the, uh, I brought the uh, uh, fuel pump. Huh? Go ahead, <laughs> <laughs> I brought the uh, fuel pump. I forgot how to talk. Where is it? Um, wherever that cobbling stuff was. Make sure I always secure these lids because this thing falls off. I don't want to pick up 97 pieces, you know. And there was a, and it's a 120 kit. I know. Yeah, 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 that's a fact, Jack. Let me get on the elevator. Buck, 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 buck. Buck, 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 buck. All right. I thought I brought the... Did I not bring the fuel pump? I didn't think you brought much of anything. I toted it all. Did you not tote the fuel pump? No. All right. Well, what good are you? Like a screen door in a submarine. I got it out. It's in the back of the truck. I'll go get it. Where this thing go? That's got to be the ground. You bring the... I'll go get them. Yep.
Do what, Hank? You want the starter button? I can't get to the starter. It'll be the last thing we'll have to okay. do with. If you're interested in this jump pack, I've never used it, so we're about to find out how it goes. Chlor Automotive. The reason I uh, got the the GNC 77, they make a 1220 volt, 1224 volt starter box, jumper box. This one should handle, especially this little small six cylinder, but they make them that would cover up to like 10 liter diesels. But Chlor Automotive, one cool thing about them guys is uh, they, uh, they support like a ch children's mercy ministry or not ministry, but a foundation or something where they help children. Um, maybe in inner cities and things like that. So they've got a really cool, if you go to their website, Chlor Automotive, uh, they're not paying me to say this, by the way. Um, I just think it's really cool to see businesses help like children. Children and old people have a, a, a soft spot in my heart. You know what I mean? Uh, what you need, battery? No. This one? But I think it's cool when they put that on their website. I guess you found the ground then, didn't you? Oh, you ain't hooked up the machine yet, have you? Are you gonna put it 12 or 24? You gonna shock 24 to it first? That's probably a 12 volt system. Well, I'm gonna put it on 12. We don't always do the other. Yeah, true. Uh, let me get you a... I can't remember, is that a 9 16th? Do you already got that? I need a new tool roll bag. This one's, the plastic is finally giving up. Don't fart. <laughs> At your age, you really can't trust a fart, can you? <laughs> I was wondering if you was live. <laughs> You can't trust anything at my <laughs> Fellow you work for. Yeah. Cameraman, you don't know what he's doing. That's right. <laughs> That's like, you know, at my age, doctor says, I went to the doctor and he said, uh, I got good news and I got bad news. I said, what's that? And he goes, well, you've got high blood pressure and you've got short-term memory loss. I said, whew, at least I ain't got high blood pressure. <laughs> Y'all don't feel sorry for Wiley. Don't feel sorry for him. <laughs> oh my goodness. Can you see if we get in your fire in the cab? All right, let me check. Oh, I didn't even look to see if there's a key in it somewhere. The key, uh, the key switch is gone. You know. Hmm. There's a starter button there. Yeah, there's nothing. Uh, whatever this, if that's the throttle, it's frozen. There's a starter button in there. I mean, there's a. Let's see what you got. There's so many wires gobbled up behind this dash. Well, here's the key switch. Oh, there you go. Hold that. Let me hook these two and see if we got, if I can get fired in there. Try that. Ugh. Negative. You gonna try to jump these leads? That is not conducive to our efforts. Let me run it up to the top and see if that'd be easier. Ugh. Have you ever seen a switch do that before? There's a lot of things I hadn't seen before, before I met you. Is it got a manual battery so you can tell if it's 24 manual battery uh, volt? Oh, no, it's all digital. You know? 
I know what you're saying, a voltmeter. It's only a zero, 860, 8,682 hours. Just getting broke in. Yeah, I can't believe there's no wasp nest out here. I don't see no. I'm gonna try to push this uh, through the top here and pray I don't get bit by something. No, that ain't gonna work. Let's take these battery. Let's take these uh, belly pans off. See if I can see if I can get to the starter. What you say, buddy? Let's take these belly pans off and see if I come from the bottom and get to the starter. And let's just cobble everything going to the starter. Okay. I won't have to worry about the cab. I don't have a tarp. It's okay. Uh, I can uh, get dirty every now and then. No, let me go get the uh, drill. No, here. You take it off of this. <laughs> Why? Just go. It's time you use the crescent wrench. <laughs> Don't make me work. Actually, it might not. I'd get the one on the back side first and then finish it up on the front. That's not the back side. I know. I'm just getting my, my uh, size in order. Mm -hmm. Probably going to need some liquid wrench, too. Did you even turn it? Uh-uh. <laughs> I mean, I tried to and it wouldn't. I know it. We might have to get a pump. Or a wrench or a drill, like I said. I just don't know why you don't want to use a crescent wrench or more. What did it do to you? <laughs> to cause this conflict. There, there you go. go. Oh, gosh. Tw it? Four hours later. Can't you tell us uh, another joke while you're under the hang? <laughs> Wiley Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> Johnsonville Farm. <laughs> use your man hands. Why is, your hour, why is your video an hour long? <laughs> we thought y'all like to hear us breathe. <laughs> Just breathe. Wow. Just leave that on there a while. Can you see the starter? That's none of your business. <laughs> yeah. Can you? Yeah. Easy to get to? Uh. Looks like they've already been down here. These guys might be smarter than we think they are. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have to get under there, take that battery, or hook our cobbling stuff up. Ugh. All right, I'm getting a tarp so oh, I can lay on my you back. Didn't have a tarp. I'm gonna find a tarp. Oh, I don't think I got one with me though. I don't know why I had this tarp in here. The blue one would. We've actually got on another Cabelco excavator covering the engine block up on that. I hope this works. I don't know how long it's. Hey, oh. I don't know how long it's been sitting. Probably three or four years, maybe. Because the gentleman died in 2000. Maybe he quit working 19, 18, 19 because of his health. I don't know. I don't know how he died. Seemed like a really nice, for the stories I hear about the owner, seemed like a really nice guy. Did a lot in the community. Everybody knew, I mean, uh, when I started asking around, everybody knew who he was. Everybody had nice things to say about him. Uh, here's one Uno for my Spanish speaking friends. Wiley hook them to the starter. He seems to do a better job at that than I do. I, I'm, I'm wondering if these were part of it. I don't know. Um, I was wondering if you could find out if this is a 24 volt system. I'm sure it is. 
Uh, let me get on there. Let me. If I got to get on there, I'd like to be a long place. <laughs> <laughs> it's all corroded. I mean, there's. Oh, it is. All those connections up there. Okay, here. What is this wire? Go? Oh, this is probably. This is probably the wire you need to take off right there. I could probably chase those down. Okay. Off that top lug. I can probably get. I might be able to get it from up top. We'll work together. How's that? Right, let me look. Just see. You want the flashlight? Please. Of course you do. I'm going to Google, is it 12 or 24 volt? All right. All right, Hank. That don't look like a 24 volt starter. Yeah. That's not a 24 volt starter. I believe it's a 12 volt starter. Okay. It just looks like one. There's like a, a deep reduction. See, that's the, the wire, uh, your right hand? I see it up there. No, the wires you're holding, I wonder if they cut those off and... I'm gonna try not to get any of this dirt in your face there, Wiley. Piece of junk. <laughs> Having to hold my mouth right. And... I'm just trying to get to the point where I, we can hook the short it out. Ain't nothing easy. I just, just absolutely <laughs> put a starter in a place like that. You have to take the starter shouldn't be that hard to get to. Uh, you can, let me see if I can start. I can probably short it out from up here. Well, a lot of it has to do with my plus size, too. <laughs> and I'm blaming the starter when it's yeah, of actually course. my fault. I'm guessing 24 volt starter. <laughs> I've just never seen them. <laughs> let me call my buddy. Or I'll just Google it. Let me Google it. That's going to be my thumbnail. You lay in that machine like this. <laughs> well, let's run these in series. I'll drop you a hot wire down from the starter. We need to hook up the... Starter button? Yeah. We can do that too. All right. Then I'm thinking it's electric kill. Oh, we pull the fuel out of it, it'll stop. All right, so if it's electric kill, it's electric start. So we got to run and find the wire going to the pumps. All we got to do is just get a figure out a way to short it out. I can't hold my head up there and see the... I, I think you can see it from the top if you look at it from this angle. You can see it halfway decent. Can you get your starter button? To should be able to. Yeah, I should be able to. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right, let me drop you that hot wire down. Okay. That's the first step. I don't know why we're... Sir? Even doing that. Okay. Uh, now, won't we put that nut back on there? We put the wire back on it? Yeah. And I took the batteries back up there. And we'll just try it that way. <laughs> Maybe that was the whole problem. It just was, it's got to be 24 volt system to get fire to the cab. It may be. Oh, Wiley. I'll pull the batteries up. I know you. No, I got I it. know your back's I hurting. Really just like laying under this machine. <laughs> Figuring where I went wrong in my life. <laughs> All right, so let me fish that back through here. I do anything you want me to, Wally. That's all you get. Well, they won't. You're gonna have to come back through there like you was blown to do it. Got it. There you go. Now, Wiley, you're 
you're connected um, there's a the solenoid right here on the back side of here I'm listening yeah there's a solenoid top the wires go to cab this wire here that's the grounded yeah, it's grounded to the solenoid and then this wire. That's grounded, okay. Uh, okay. That's your ground. All right. I hope we get this running, Wiley. And how? Alrighty. Oh, that don't have a that don't have a hose clamp on it. I need a hose clamp. Dog on it. Oh, let me see if I can find. Found one. I don't know how long it's been sitting. I assume 15 years. <laughs> You're kidding me. No, I don't know how long it's been sitting. I would assume since like maybe 18. Oh, it's that solenoid down there. 24 volts. This thing gonna fire right up. Get my, all my true work clothes dirty. If you want some true work clothes, pants, shirts, hats, things like that, you've seen them wear, I've worn them for two, two years now, three years. I've been an ambassador for them for three years. Hank, Hank 15 will get you a discount. I love their stuff. You like it too, don't you, Wiley? I've got, uh, and I like the socks too. Yeah. Hank 15 will get you some. And the little shorty shorts. <laughs> I like him shorty shorts. You know what I, I didn't bring that I, that I bought yesterday? A bunch of them little alligator clips. Um, I may have some though. Let me go look. Won't you just hook this up to it, Hank? Instead of the battery? Yeah. Since I've already carried the battery already yeah, up here. <laughs> All right. See how it works. There you go. She's running. Huh? She's running. I mean, I guess she's getting to the pump. You hear the pump clicking in it? No. Can you know, see if you can bump it, at least see if it's not locked up? I tried to bump it. You can you? You gonna have to put it on the starter. Yeah, well, I can do that. Cut that muffler off. Oh, is that so? I was trying to find the viewers a good spot. It just ain't happening. That honestly looked like it right there. You want me to get up under it and see if I can see? Let me get up under it. One minute, 37 seconds later. Hey. Oh, 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 oh. You got your turn. Huh? Take get the battery the off. Hit the battery. All right. Take the battery cable off. All right. The top one. Yep. All right. 
<laughs> well, it's not locked up. What's the smoke come from? The water? <laughs> I was sneaking down there, man. I missed the excitement. Is the smoke coming from the solenoid back here? I don't know where it's coming from. It's like something's stuck together after that fire you made. <laughs> <laughs> Hook it back up, see if it's... Yes, engaged? Yeah. Alright. No, it's not. Okay, Hank. But I, now we're all three of these connected? Yes. Okay, I don't have all three of them connected. You want me to try all three? Yeah. All right. So I've got this, these three wires connected. This black one, this white one, and the main one. Sir? Need the uh, ether. Okay. Why you? I'll go get it. Getting over your fear. <laughs> I got PTSD, man. Leave me alone. Not much ether, because it's almost ready. All right. belt didn't make it. <laughs> That's just part of it. It's hanging on by a thread. That's eh? right. What kind of belt is that? That's a good belt right there. We're getting fuel now. Oh yeah, white smoke? Yeah. Um, just try to keep it running the right. best you can. Till it gets air worked out of it. It's getting there. I'm welding down there now. I hear you. I, I actually thought it sounded like it was going to crank before I hit that ether, but that's that's right. I'll keep it going until I see fuel yeah, there. That's right. Almost ready. the fuel back through the return. See it? Yeah, I see that. Uh, no. I, mean, I see the fuel dripping. Yeah. That. All right. Watch out. I'm going to try to see if it gets something to the pump. I'm going to ask you a question. If you got it going the right direction? Yeah, see the... 
I just asked you to do that one time before. No, uh, look at the thing, it says flow. 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 Yeah, it's not coming to the pump. Alright. That's not the pump, that's the injector. The injector pump. Yeah, it's not coming out of there. That's what I'm saying. But you don't know it ain't going in there. Well, wouldn't it be coming out of that if it... Uh-uh. Yeah. Not if it wasn't open. That's what kills it. That's what, that's what I'm saying. It's yeah. not... It, well, that up here tells us the same as that. I thought you took it off like... Uh, well, let's see what, let's see what this one is. It's a bigger... That's a fuel right there. Yeah. Well, that's a fuel cell on hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me see if it's coming to here. Golly, Moza. <laughs> I can't get that. I need a... See, that's not coming here, neither. Well, the fuel pump switched off. Okay, now try. All right, can you do it now? Because it looks like that might have been, the end of the line might have been out of the fuel. Oh. See what I'm saying? I do. We, we might be. But you're gonna have to figure out something on your hot. Because it, this, this the ground. Uh, oh. Okay, before we do anything, might as well get some ether. Where'd it go? It was empty. Oh, all right, I'll be right back. Unless you think we'll be okay, let's try it without it. Let's have a little faith. <laughs> have a little faith, let's man. Have a little faith. You ready? I'm gonna contact. Yeah. There's no way that's gonna work. <laughs> Keep it in the best dry the fire. Yeah. Keep it going. Or a time like this. I know. <laughs> that fuel pump. Sit up there and do all that, and that electric fuel pump's a turd. Yeah. Oh, I'm welding. The smoking diesel in my eyes ain't working too good. All right, we're gonna go to the store and get some ether. Three hours later. Well, back from the store, I bought a whole case of starting fluid. Power. Is that anything to do with like power mania, fire, power? But, listen, it's got upper cylinder lubricant, so it's good. Yeah, that's what we need. We like, uh, Some of that upper cylinder stuff. <laughs> that's good stuff right there. All I right. agree with you, this is a lot easier to maneuver around. Once you get loosened up. Yeah. Now the hard part's getting back down. <laughs> and I'll get ready to tighten these up. Alright. See if you can get it going just a minute. Alright. Yeah, you're right Oops. over that exhaust, dude. Ain't nothing I can do, Hank. It's yeah. part of the <coughs> sacrifice I can make <laughs> set of lungs for this start. I hate to admit this, but my screwdriver ain't long enough. <laughs> <laughs> Just 
Just try to keep it going. All right. It's coming out anymore. Break them loose a little more. Might have lost his prime. You think it lost its prime from the pump? Maybe. No. Yeah, I think the pump is, uh, I think it's lost its, yeah. Cause it wasn't, it wasn't hardly doing anything. i tell you what to do, just, just keep one loose. Okay. And see if it goes to. So eat, where's the right there? <coughs> Here, I'll go. I got it. You just stay over Army? It's hit now. It was hit here. Yep. Yep. <coughs> wow. Let's redo the. I think if we redo it, it's going to work. You'll see that you, you'll see it ain't lost its prime. It just ain't putting the fuel pressure to the pump. I'm glad that wasn't on camera. <laughs> you being wrong? Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'll edit that part out. Make sure no one knows you. Thank you. I know you will. <laughs> you lie. <laughs> I'll probably replay it twice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think it's running. I think it's running. How about that? Wow. <laughs> Give me some of that, dude. All right, I'm just going to try this to move the tracks. The, the levers don't work. The lever, the joysticks don't work. Hang on tight. Probably got to have fire. Got yeah. to get fire to the cab for those to work. 
I mean the track. Oh, that, that's the wrong track. I'm going to try this track. Woo! Jeez. I heard something pop. Yeah, it was a hydraulic hose. Uh, all right. Man, she wants to. Hang on, don't pull nothing. All right. Man, she wanted to, didn't she? Yeah. Dude, that was See awesome. That hose. Yeah, there you go. The one that popped. The one I pointed at earlier in the video. Quit trying to be right all the time, <laughs> Hank. It's just so selfish. Hey, it's probably make a good donor machine. I think so. Got you look so image. majestic up there. You got a great image. <laughs> I mean, image. You had me thinking image and you said majestic. It's a great engine. All right, let's go clamp go eat. We did it, buddy. Yeah. It technically moved an inch. I don't think it moved an inch. Mm. The tracks did engage. They did. Yeah. That was kind of cool. It was. I was surprised the way the engine ran, really. Yeah. But all the cylinders are in good shape and all that stuff. If, you, if you're interested, PC220, early 2000 model, uh, if you're interested, I can put you in touch with the owner. I don't know what the price is on this, but it can't be all that much, to be honest with you. A uh -huh. couple grand, you know, five, ten grand, five, seven, eight grand, something like that. Yeah. And uh, I, I don't know. So just send me an email if you're interested. It's located in northwest florida south of andalusia alabama or sampson alabama in that area so south of new york city south somewhere south of new york city yeah. <laughs> not as far south as key west so use that in your reference when you're looking for shipping prices yeah uh but that was cool dude it was yeah yeah very fun it, it was it was fun uh, I actually, you know, I don't know if you, if you fast forward throughout the sections of the video or whatever you heard Wiley say something about we should buy it or whatever. I actually thought about buying this machine, but now that we've run it, it's a good donor machine. Yeah. It, it's probably not, it might be, you know, for somebody that knows what they're doing, they, it might be easy enough to right. get it, you know, to clear like your private property, farm, dig a pond, something like that. But, yeah. you know, you're not going to, I don't think you're going to start a business with it. But Dig your spouse's grave. Dig your spouse's grave. <laughs> Anyway, we appreciate you guys watching. Check out what's coming next on Hamiltonville Farm. We appreciate you. God bless. Don't forget to download Fishing Clash and use code Hamiltonville Farm for that special St. Patrick's Day event. Link in the description. Thanks for watching. The links for discount codes are in the description box below.